हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरी वन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट द एंटिटी रिलेशनशिप सो वी हैव थ्री एंटिटीज यूजर कमेंट एंड पोस्ट ओके सो फर्स्ट वी विल डू वी विल राइट द एंटिटीज विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी रिटर्न वॉट वी नीड टू डू इज वी नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन दीज एंटिटीज लाइक यूजर विल हैव मल्टीपल पोस्ट पोस्ट कैन हैव मैनी कमेंट्स यूजर कैन राइट यूजर कैन राइट मैनी पोस्ट और यूजर कैन डू मैनी पोस्ट ऑन डिफरेंट ब्लॉग पोस्ट okay so this is kind of relationship we are going to have one to many between user and post and many to one between comment and post and user and comment will have one to many so this kind of relationship we are going to have i just try to to try to create a entity relationship diagram based on these three entities so we are not talking about nest js in just few videos we are going to talk about the entities and their relationship one to many one to one one to many many to one and then we will write the definition for for the apis in a controllers and different services and we will expose them because after defining the entities what is the leftover is writing these modules comment module user module post modules writing their controllers and services injecting the type or a module dot feature passing these different entities so these are our our entities like user so user is going to have a relationship with the blog post and the comment so we will define that so how we can define that is we can use a one to many annotations here one to many uh, in the one to many annotation user will create many post so this is the post entity relationship we have and post how we will get from post dot user okay and uh, the column name in the user will be posts i mean many post and it is of type post post array okay another entity relationship we are going to have is one to many again between user and comments so this is comment and comment dot user and here we will have a comments in the user table to point to comment okay similarly in the post collection what we are going to have is in the post collection we will have a relationship of many to one with the user and comments so our relationship will be plain and simple which is many to one okay Many to one, and it will be returning a user because here there will be a single user. Single user will be pointing to many posts. User dot post, and here we have to provide how what is the like what is the fetch mechanism and cascade on delete or update. Okay, so either will be true, and we have another properties on delete, which is cascade. okay so this is many to one between uh, user and blog post user is of type user now same thing we can have between so we are inside a post so post will have single post will have many comments so it's like a one post will have a many comments so it is one to many so here we will have a comment and a single comment will belong to single comment will belong to comment dot post and here the fetch mechanism we can add just let me just see here we have a comment as a column in the blog post and it will point to a comment array okay now in the comment the last thing we have in the comment in the comment what we can do is comment will have a relationship with the user and post both so same way it will have a many to one because many comments can belong to a single user many comment can belong to a single post so we can just directly write them so eager is true we are, we are not doing a lazy load eager is true on delete cascade so this comment will have a relationship with the user user can do a many comment so many to one many comment one single user many comment 
one single post okay so we have defined the relationship same is reflecting here so after defining these entities you can run npm run db sync and you will be able to get this entity relationship diagram from the database i'm using mysql workbench okay these are the entities we have created so what is the next part is uh, in our code is we will just create these entities so we have entities now we have post we have auth um, i mean we are going to have a login mechanism also so i created a auth so currently this is the old code which is using the mongoose module so we just need to segregate it we will be converting into the our new mechanism which will be using the type orm mysql we will be using the user repository dot find all these operation instead of so here if you see this services are the primary ones which we are going to change i mean now we have a access to user repository instead of doing this this dot user model so we are injecting currently this only this piece particular piece will change and here we will say inject user repository and that will take care so in auth controller or auth service we can access we can inject the user repositories and we will access a user entity object and we will do user this dot user entity dot find find one find by id and all these operations in the next video thanks everyone